I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing his word in the four winds of the earth. And shalom to you, few sincere sisters out there as well. It's Brother Aviyah coming at you with another lesson here. And when inspired, just uh, a little quick cut here, a uh, video I wanted to share with y'all of a woman on the uh, on an airplane bugging the hell out, man. It seems like she's being uh, detained in Esau, or uh, what appears to be Esau, uh, what appears to be Edomites, rather, um, have her in handcuffs. And the way that she's reacting, uh, you can definitely see that uh, there's something off mentally and spiritually with her. And you can uh, see that she has uh, various demons on her. So I just wanted to read a couple of scriptures and uh, show the footage. Lord willing, this lesson is uh, edifying. Like I said, it's a quick cut uh, before I get ready for camp. It's Isaiah 1 and 5 and 6. It says, Why should ye be stricken any more? And ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart is faint. From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores that they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. You know, and Jake is on this side is beat the hell up, man. You know, those sores that, those open sores are, are, are starting to collect uh, gr uh, gangrene in them, man. You know, these Jakes are, are through out here. That's why we should be thankful that we are not in the same lot as them. And it's going to get a lot worse out here. Well, you know, a lot of people are going to be, you know, inhabited by these demons, you know, like this woman that was on the plane. Let's get uh, Jeremiah 2. I'm going to read 19 through 21. It says, Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy power, and that my fear is not in thee, saith the Lord, the power of hosts. You know, because we don't know what type of, uh, you know, religions or whatever this woman is into. You know, she could be into witchcraft, man. You know, a good a good portion of uh, Israelite women, okay, starting with uh, the head tribe, uh, Yahweh, right, which uh, many know as Judah. A lot of them are, are dealing with witchcraft, man. This is something that they're turning to. You know, a bevy of them, a, a, lot, a large number of them, are leaving Christianity and turning to uh, witchcraft, man, which automatically opens up uh, yourself to uh, be inhabited by demons, man. And it says, uh, yeah, and in this times that we're in, we're going to start to see these demons manifest themselves through people, man. For of old time I have broken thy yoke and burst thy bands, and thou hast said, or thou saidest, I will not transgress, when upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest, playing the harlot. Yeah, because, shit, from back then till now, a lot of these uh, jakes, you know, turn their back on the Lord and chased after other gods, man, playing the harlot. Okay, worshiping uh, other gods that have no power. Worshipping other gods that did not create them. Worshipping other gods that don't provi uh, provide food or, or shelter or, or protection for them, man. You know? So these, these same Jakes out here on, in the same lot uh, still playing the, the harlot to this day. And it says, Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, a holy right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? You know, it's gotten so bad out here with Jake. Shit, the Lord probably, you know, don't even recognize uh, Jake anymore. You know, this is probably the, the worst, uh, 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 yeah, the worst Jake has ever been in the history of humanity, man. Jake is at an all-time low. Let's get Ezekiel. I right, said, so I'm going to make this fast. I'll start getting ready for camp. Um, Ezekiel 22. Go to 18 real quick. 
And it says, Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, because ye are all become dross. Behold, therefore, I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it. So will I gather you in my anger and my fury. I will leave you there and melt you. Yeah, and this is what happened to these two thirds, man. That's what I'm focusing on. It's not just going to happen to two thirds. Okay, it's going to be happening to all nations that are here in Babylon the Great. Okay? They're going to, you know, they're going to be in the fire. They're going to melt in the fire, man. Okay? And this is where they're going to be left at. And it says, uh, you know, of course, until they come back into the kingdom, of course, uh, through the 144,000 elect men. Okay? And it says, yeah, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof. Right? And, uh, you know, this is uh, also, you know, part of the curses, man. Seeing how Drake, how uh, how Drake, Slocky, how Jake has uh is just completely bugged out, man. It's definitely part of the curses. This is uh Deuteronomy twenty eight twenty. It says the Lord shall send upon thee cursing, and vexation, and rebuke, and all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly. Because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. Right? And let's go to 28 real quick. And it says, The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Right? And that's what we've seen. And it's, that's what you're going to see in this video, man. You know? A woman smited with madness. Okay? I'll go back here to 20 real quick. Because it speaks of, uh, you know, the Heavenly Father's. The, the Lord shall send upon thee cursing and vexation, okay? And that reminds me of uh, Matthew, um, Matthew the 17th chapter. If you go into that word uh, vexation here, well, I'm not going to go into it, but it reminds me of this verse here, verse 15, where this man was asking the Lord, it said, Lord, have mercy on my son, uh, for he is lunatic, right? And sore vexed, for oft times he falleth into the fire and off into the water. Okay, and this is speaking of a man that was demonically uh, possessed. Okay, just like this woman was here in this video I'm about to show. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I'm going to say shalom to the next one. My ankle hurts from my nephew crossing me over in Arizona. So you must... That's fine. I've been there before. I'm not scared. I have fucking been there before. This nigga's hurting my elbow. He's hurting my wrist. You're hurting me, Sheriff. You're hurting me, Sheriff. Ah! Ah!